Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Acts chapter 9, verse 1 through 9. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed round him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him t into Damascus. For three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Drank. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, so many of your children are looking for answers in their lives at this time for so many reasons, and we pray for all your people to be comforted by you, Lord, and all that we, we may do. Show us the good things that we often overlook and help us to be content with what we already have. Forgive us when we compare ourselves to others. Forgive us for longing for things outside of you and your kingdom. Thank you for loving us right where we are, right as we are. Help us to keep our eyes on you in this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.